Mother Sewing and Crafting family. Hi, Laura. Hi, how are you? Good. So welcome to our party today. We are going to be sewing some really fun things. If you've never been here before, we are Brand Ambassadors for Brother, and we are live on their Facebook and YouTube channels. So be sure to leave your comments, ask your questions, and we'll try to help out along the way. But also say where you're from, because you never know your neighbor might be sewing next to you, crafting, or fishing. Although I don't know about today because it's pouring snow out. <laughs> so Laura, uh, I we got caught in that snowstorm this past weekend. Did you? I doubt it because you're south, but I don't know. <laughs> No, but you know what we did? They said there were snow flurries like in our weather forecast and everybody was like bracing themselves. Um, but you know what? We did get a huge windstorm. So I don't know if that was from the north or whatever, but it was horrible yesterday. It was just like our house was like shaking. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> it was not good. I'm glad you're okay. I love the snow, but I prefer it to melt like in a day. And look, judging by what's out there right now, and it's still snowing, I doubt that's going to happen. <laughs> I agree. Oh, so uh, tying up, getting ready for Valentine's Day, Laura. It's, I, it's so I'm so happy to have you on the show again. I haven't seen you for a while. I feel like it's been like a whole month. <laughs> I think it has <laughs> it's been like two months. <laughs> So I, I wanted to share with everyone what we're going to be working on today because it's all about something that could work for Valentine's Day. So do you want to show what you have and then I'll show what I have? Yep. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to embroider a sweatshirt with um, a cute little applique lipstick kind of thing. I love that. I love that. There so you go. Laura, when you held that up, the first thing I could think of when we were talking about this earlier in the week, um, I'm just going to share this real quick for everyone to see because you could do this too, and you could do it on any of your brother machines that has embroidery. Oh, okay. here is the lipstick design. This is what I did with it. I turned it into a little lipstick holder, I and I've been searching my office everywhere, and I swear I probably gave it to one of my sisters and forgot. <laughs> I know, you know, I do that too. It's like, where was that project? And then you just make another one. That's a great idea with the little lipstick container. Yeah, so this is the whole and blog. Throw it in your purse. I'll, I'll post this in the comments. You guys can go find this later if you want to do this. But I also, the design is on iBroidery. So I have that link for you too. But this, that lipstick case is such a great gift for your girlfriends, you know, during, yeah. well, for Valentine's or anytime actually, birthdays. And there's the design, my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. And I saw that one, and that's a great option for this as well. You could do that one, too. Um, you know what would be cool if you, like, could somehow – you know, like, if you do, um, like, lunch boxes, they have the interior where it doesn't melt? I wonder if you could put that – like, you know, I live in the South, and it's, like, the thought of lipstick in your purse, <laughs> it's, like, it's going to melt or in the car. You know that's I mean? true. That's a great idea, too. Yeah, so next time I maybe make that and put the, I don't know what it's called, but you know what I mean, the insulation that you keeps your lunch, lunch like, cool. Well, you could even use, like, a waxed canvas because then you could wipe it off really easy if it makes okay. a mess. I love that. A hot mess. <laughs> so let's, let's see how you, a very hot mess. Let's see what, literally, <laughs> let's see what you have going on. I'm dying to see this. Okay, so this cute little lipstick. Is this, yep, and then it's just a little, you know, for, I look at this kind of like a little um, lounge pajama shirt or um, sweatshirt, you know, it's still cold out in the um, February, but I also have some other options. I mean, you could do anything. I'm really into embroidery right now on sweatshirts, and it is National Embroidery Month, so maybe that's why it's just subconscious, but even oh. right now, yeah, a little applique. Oh, that's so cute. And then we even on the brother blog soon we we did monogramming so you could do your little monogram. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, and just kind of piece it with your you know like some cute pajama bottoms or something. Ah, uh, Phyllis is right. You can put a plastic liner, a plastic yeah. liner in your mask. That would keep lipstick off your mask. Never thought about that. Except oh, yeah, <laughs> you probably can't breathe at all though. <laughs> <laughs> no breathing. <laughs> So yeah, let's. Um, I'll show you guys how I did this. It's actually oh, really easy. That sounds wonderful. So I just have to ask Laura. Well, Shirley says this. Who's wearing lipstick under their mask? So I don't know about you guys, but when I get up in the morning to leave, I usually run a few errands. So you have to wear the mask. I literally get out of the shower, 
put not a stitch of makeup on, just put lotion on, go run my errands, come to the office, wash my face and start all over and then put makeup on. I cannot, the mask with makeup does not work on me. I agree. Like mine always has um, the orange, like, you know, from your base, it'll go get the orange around it. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's just makeup, people. <laughs> so I'm thinking that uh, the makeup <laughs> in my studio definitely does not go with the masks. But I do wear lipstick. And so hope I just keep my mask way out here. I probably look more like a foreign animal. But hey, you got, if you got to wear it, you got to wear it, right? <laughs> and then, but it is an excuse to kind of keep your face makeup free. You know, it's like. I'm not rushed to get my paint my face, you know what I mean? Because it's like, I'm just covering it up. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I could think of times where I would never leave without at least having mascara on or something. Okay. I don't even think about it now. Yeah, I guess we're all, all of us are just going to be natural beauties, which is what we were in the first place. We just forgot. <laughs> right. And then you wear the mask and the sunglasses and it's like, you just cover up forever. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Oh. All right, so let's see everybody's saying hi and they agree. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Sandra. So what let's go. Where do you want to start? I'm gonna head over there. So um if you want to swap the cameras. All right, we're gonna swap Laura in here and she's good she has her shirt, her sweatshirt all laid out. There she is. Let me make here you go. We got gotcha. you. <laughs> So um, let's, what we'll begin is, you just, I'm just using a basic sweatshirt. You can get them anywhere. Um, I like this one, this kind of brand. It's just soft and nice to wear. Um, and it also embroiders well. But so we're going to do it in the center front. Um, if you're going to do a monogram or whatever, you're going to want to do that kind of over here, typically about seven inches down. And that'll be on the blog, the brother blog soon. So um, look on, look out for that. Um, but to begin, you typically will want to measure about, is it shaking or is it good? No, you're good. Oh, okay, good. I'm going to move my headphones. Give me one second. Okay. Um, so you typically want to measure about three inches down from the neckline. And that is where you'll want the top of the design to be. Now, if you have a template, like a printable template, you, it's a good idea to print that out. And then you can kind of adjust the placement based on where you want it. So I just measured mine out. Mine was it's a seven by five inch design and I'm actually gonna take the lipstick and I'm piecing a couple designs together, um, but we'll focus mainly on the lipstick for now. And so what I like to do is I just kind of like to almost draw like a square or a rectangle around the design. So I'll like, I'll kind of mark right here. It's just a basic fabric marking tool. And then I'll do the size if I need to, but I also like to kind of do the center so i'll mark down the center and that way you can adjust your design when you're um, setting it up on embroidery um, around that so that helps just keep everything nice and even and then you can even do it across uh, across this way if you would like and that's your center but when you're setting up your design um, on your embroidery machine after you hoop it you want to make sure that your design doesn't come above this but it hits about that point so I'm that's, just, Laura, that's really that's a great tip because first of all, when you're trying to place the embroidery, sometimes you think, okay, what how am I gonna mark this? How is this gonna look okay? And by marking it like that, it's super easy. No matter what machine you have, you'll be able to easily place everything. Exactly. And that's kind of why I mark everything because I, I'm kind of like that too, Angela, where I would just kind of guess where it looked great. And then when you take it off and you put it on, it's like, wow, it was a lot lower than I really wanted, or a little bit tilted and this just keeps everything even so now um, you're going to want to use a cutaway stabilizer I know some people like to do tear away but I like to do cutaway um, for knits and like sweatshirts because you wear them often and so you'll wash it a lot so it's a good idea to, to a good idea to use a cutaway it'll just keep the stitches there and everything so you're gonna want to flip your um to hoop you're gonna want to flip your sweatshirt inside out and lay it back out nice and flat there we go and while she's hooping that i just want to mention that the cutaway stabilizer brother has you can visit your local brother dealer to get some of that too if you've never tried it yeah and theirs is really good i love it the pace better brand oh i'm sorry are you good <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, we're back. <laughs> well, yeah, we're back. No, I do a live. We're all <laughs> awake now. <laughs> I know, right? Um, so I have this spray adhesive, and it's a good idea to spray it. Um, the, I'm not going to do it on camera. Obviously, I don't want to dunk up my area, but give it a good, nice spray, and then you'll just lay it nice and flat, and then you just kind of press it on. Now, I didn't stay, I didn't spray mine really because I don't want it all over the place, and that'll keep it nice and and like there when you flip it back, which I wish I I should go outside and do it really quick, but I don't like to do that stuff in my room. And then you flip it again, and then you'll hoop it. Okay. And that's nice and straight. Someone asked, no, she's not using no show mesh because that disappears. That's wash away. The, yes. if you're the wash away. This does not disappear. Yeah. And to be honest, so typically the spray adhesive would keep it in place, but there we go. So, um, yeah, I just use the kind of, I mean, you really could use whatever you wanted. They just recommend that, and that's kind of what I've always stuck with. Um, so then you'll want to take your um, outer hoop and stick it on the interior. And then you're just going to hoop it like you would. Just making sure that the design is centered right there. And then hoop it. And I don't. Oh, OK. So Deborah's talking about a different one. I was thinking of wash away mesh, Deborah. So sorry about that. And then you'll hoop it. Um, I, and then make sure that the that it's centered. If you you know your marks right here, and make sure this is even because sometimes like if you hoop it, you can change it a little bit, and you'll and then it will embroider a little bit. You just make sure these marks line up with your mark, and then you'll. Hold on, I'm, my thing's shaking, but I'm going to hurry up and do this real quick. Okay, well, you guys get the point. Just pretend I moved it. I don't want to shake my table for some reason it's shaking you're just gonna um, you'll just make us dance laura it's all right we're all we're following <laughs> not to move and you all know you gotta stick you know you gotta have some strength when you're doing these hooping but anyways let's i already hooped i already have one hooped into the embroidery machine so you'll hoop it and then you kind of wrap it around the hoop or around the thing making sure that the back is um nothing is behind it but we'll go over to the sewing machine now and you'll see it there so let's just move along <laughs> move along. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually move um really quick. Angela, I'm gonna move my um my camera really quick to the embroidery unit for, so give me one second. Okay. So while she's moving around, I did bring this up for all of you that do you that you could have even just a four by four hoop for this in a brother machine. Check out these. Um I just found these on ibroidery.com. So it's ibroidery.com and all three of these lipsticks are in here. These are really cute. This is the one I used for my lipstick case. And that one, this one's adorable too. So anyways, those are on ibroidery.com. I know you'd like to see that. All right. So while she's moving, I think she's yeah. almost in place. Okay. You see it? Yeah, we can see it. And All by right. the way, when you guys were talking about no-show mesh, I was thinking washway mesh. <sighs> It feels like a Monday. It's not. Must be all the snow. <laughs> all right. So let me bring both of us up here. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm showing you right now. That's how it's set up. Um, yeah. I have everything ready to go. And then here, I'll just place y'all down now. <laughs> um, so I have the applique. Now, when you're doing an applique, you'll take the fabric. You'll do the um, stitch out the, the cut line first. And then you place that um, material right over that. I'm sure y'all know how that works. And so I did do a couple because I didn't want to sit here and cut and pull it out the whole time. So I'm going to start with the embroidery. And we are already did some, most of the applique. And then I'm going to just press go. And so now it's just, and um, be mindful that nothing is underneath right here. And so it's just embroidery. Hey Laura, what uh, what embroidery machine are you using? This is the PE eight hundred. Oh, yeah, it's this nice is looking. a great embroidery machine. 
if you're in the hunt for one, it has a five by seven inch hoop area, um, great built-ins. And just overall, I really love this one. So I don't, I don't have any, any plans to update or change anytime soon. <laughs> well, it sure is nice looking. I love the colors and it's yeah. very quiet. It, it is. It's quiet. And then it, it just, it has a good like area where it's small enough, but it's not too big. You know what I mean? Right. So here we go. Um, this is about five minutes. We might just fast forward, but let me get a little stand. That looks great. Darlene wanted to know, are these designs free? You know what? These on iBroidery are not, but keep your eye out because there's always a free design of the month. And maybe we'll put a hint that we need a lipstick in there. Oh, that would be fun. There, you can see it a little bit better. Oh, that looks great. It's so quiet. Yeah, so if my sister is watching, either of you, if I, if I gave you my lipstick case, send me a text so I quit looking for it. <laughs> I need it back. I'm going to have to go make another one now. <laughs> oh, give it back. <laughs> That's funny. So um, on your sweatshirt and everything, Laura, is there any special needle you had to use or you just use just I'm universal? I'm just using the normal embroidery, one, uh, the normal one. I'm trying to get the lighting right, I guess. Sorry, guys. Um, Hi, Joanne. Yeah. I agree. You can do a lot with a 5 by 7 hoop, a lot. Um, You know what? I'm just using a normal needle that you embroider with, the normal ones that come with it. I haven't changed it, but... I'm sure you could adjust that if necessary. What would you suggest? Yeah, no, I, you know, I end up using either just a universal. Sometimes I have an embroidery needle in there. If I'm using something really thick, a lot of times I'm embroidering on denim. So I leave that number 14 denim jean needle in there a lot. I mean, it's whatever works for you. And the universal I'm needle you. is great. I'm, oh, I'm Marilyn. You, I, great I do idea. like that jeans needle. Yeah, that's my favorite. I love that needle. So. Well, not favorite. I got a lot of favorites, but that's it's one of my really favorites. Loud. <laughs> Marilyn said, would you do the basically the same thing for a sweater? The way she hooped it and everything, I would. It depends on your sweater, though, Marilyn. If it's a really stretchy sweater, you want to make sure you don't stretch it too much. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few different things you might do with the sweater versus this. But if it's just a plain old sweater that is kind of a loose fitting, it'd be the exact same process. Oh, Phil. <laughs> um it's hard to talk with that thing though. I'm like distracted by the, um, you know what? Yeah, you can, you can clip it. Sometimes I'll actually use hair clips, you know, those curl ones. Um, and I'll clip it around, but since I'm right here, I'm not really gonna, I'm not worried too much about the, anything getting caught underneath, but I know what you mean, Phyllis. She said, well, you yeah, and you know what else, Phyllis, is what I was thinking when she wrote that is when you're using a smaller hoop, it doesn't seem to be as much of a big problem as if you're using the huge hoop because the huge hoop, sometimes that fabric can so easily get stuck under and then you're embroidering and all of a sudden you're embroidering the top to the bottom. That can be a, another hot mess. <laughs> but yes, clipping your fabric out of the way is definitely a way to save that. Laura... Is your machine embroidering right now? Because it's super quiet. <laughs> I put it on mute for you. <laughs> I was like, wow. This <laughs> I know this thing is amazing. No, I actually, um, these are some of the clips. Like, you know, these are just hair clips. And I put them and clipped them around. And it keeps, like, the sleeves and stuff like that out of place. Um, but, yeah, there's about three more minutes left. That's great. This is so the other sweatshirt that you held up, the one are you're doing the lipstick one now, right? Yeah. The other one with the love with the applique. Hold that up because even if you have a four by four hoop, you'd be able to do this, turning each letter into an applique. I love that. Literally, love, love. <laughs> oh. This one was fun. Um, you know, what I do a lot with my hoop because I do have a five by seven inch hoop area, and I know some people prefer um like the, a bigger one or a bigger design even. So what I'll do is I'll piece it together. So I'll do like two letters and then the next set of letters. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or I'll use the um, five by 12 inch hoop and then you just 
um, adjust it, like move it over. You know what I mean? So, so I'm I'm the Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry, Laura. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I was just saying I'm so used to having that smaller hoop area that mm -hmm. I'm fine with kind of hooping and then re-hooping, you know, where some people just like you want to do it all at once. And that's just how I'm, I'm used to that, you know. So actually this, I just thought, let's see, I think it was... Yes, Francis, you can use a jeans needle. Oh, well, I don't know what an embroidery, I mean, if you're using a sewing and embroidery machine, yes, you can. Uh, it's the strength of that needle. And that's if you're doing something really thick, like um, I embroider jeans a lot, like the leg or a jean jacket. But I just saw um, somebody was asking about the machine. What is the largest hoop on that machine? This one is a five by 12, but the five hoop area is still five by seven. Okay. So you would just kind of maneuver. I have it if you want me to show you. They everybody loves to see what different things come with these machines. Oh, okay, let me get it. Hopefully that's done. <laughs> Hi, Freddie. So, um, oh, it used to be in Benton Harbor. That's cool, Benton Harbor St. Joe. You can uh, the the master class for the Luminaire right now is exclusive to XP2 users. You have to go to your brother dealer, and there's a uh, package that you could have purchased with that. So um, you have to contact your brother dealer for the masterclass right now. But feel free to email me and I can keep you posted if anything changes on that. Oh, you got the hoop? Yeah, so it's pretty big. That's really big. Yeah. But you know, you have like the different clip points. So you would have to, you know, like start right here, for example, um, embroider on this side and then down here. So the hoop area is still five by seven. So it would be like this, you know. Yeah. Boy, that's that's a really nice hoop. Yeah, I love using that. I use that often. Um, so I don't, I'll need to change the thread and stuff, but I mean, I, it's kind of just, if you guys wanna watch me change the thread. Sure. <laughs> so Lorraine, did you get the machine? Did you get the name? It's <laughs> making sure you did. Oh, this is the um, PE800. Oh, well, Louise, I'm glad that you're happy about that. We try to show every machine that we can. Uh, it just depends who's coming on the show, what machine they have. So I'm glad that you love She says she loves your machine. <laughs> oh, thank you. I do too. <laughs> now I'm just doing the little gold piece. Hi, Francis from Ireland. And this is about three minutes. And then... Um, I guess I forgot to show you guys, but when this touch screen is so nice, and that's why I do all the marking, you can just um, make sure that the design is right where you marked it because it, everything can be moved or added or edited right here. That makes it so nice. So can you do multiple hoopings? So, Sandra, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but yes, you can do multiple hoopings, and there's different ways of marking your fabric for that. You, this machine doesn't have the snowman feature, if that's what you were referring to, though. You don't have the snowman feature on yours, do you? Well, I'm not sure what that is. So that, yeah, I don't know you don't. I didn't think you did, but I was just double checking. But yes, you could do multiple hoopings, and there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, I can't say specifically, <laughs> but yes, you can. So is she, but yeah, you, if you want a multiple hoop, oh, did she mean different hoops that on a project? Yeah, like where you have like a continuous design. I think that's what she's talking about. But yeah, you would just have, you know, all of these hoops come with the little centerpiece that shows, you know, the grid and it's very easy to mark your design that way as well. Yeah. And this is coming together. Let's see if y'all can see it over here. Almost done. <laughs> that looks great. Could you imagine if I just sat there the whole time and we're like, we're gonna watch this thing in front of for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Oh, is that what your daughter was using? Is the SE 600? I remember when you were deciding what machine to get her. And that's a great machine too. You used to have that one, I believe. It's hard to keep track. I can never remember. Oh, Mary just got the same machine. Congratulations. We've got a lot of PE 770s in here. 
I think Laura put me on mute. Yeah, because I didn't want to, I want you to be able to talk without that. <laughs> we love hearing the embroidery. I do. Yeah, you can use metallic thread. This one is not. Yeah. This is not metallic thread, good. but it's shiny like that. Yeah. And then we're almost it? done, and I'll take it out. Oh, there we go. Wrong one. I wanted to see this closer. That is so quiet. Is it? Okay, good. Because I'm like, I'm not sure. Okay, so that was done. And now if I wanted to um, add the love right here, then you would want to go here. I'm going to, I'll go to the, show you the touch screen right here. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, we can see that close now. Okay. Let's see if it's brighter. Okay. Yeah, so this is done now, the little lipstick. And then what I did was I added... So you can go through here. Um, you could do your own built-in, the built-in lettering on here if you wanted to. Um, so you just go add and you could like, you know, go right. Can you see it all right, Angela? Or it's, a, it's a little super, well, not a little, it's super bright, but that's because yeah. the screen is super bright. I don't think there's anything well, you can do about that. that. Oh, there we go. There you go. It's, it's probably because I have this light that I'm trying to, you know. There, now we can see it great. Okay, good. So if you want, you could just go get like your built-in lettering right here. Um, and you can write love if you wanted to. Or you could go into your um, saved files that you have, your saved designs. And you can just add, I'm trying, I'm going to get a different one on here. If it loads today. All right. So these are just my built-in, or I mean my designs I've saved on my USB. And then you just set it. And then, here, let me make it red so you can see. <laughs> Kimberly, her dogs love the sound of the sewing machine. That's awesome. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. All right, so you can just move it, and you can even, if you want to, um, change the size. If I want to make it a little bit bigger, and then you can rotate it and then almost put it exactly where you want. Or you could use your um, finger, or you could even just use the little arrows right here. But if I wanted, I just wrote kisses if I wanted to. Right. I it's, love the touch screen. Yeah. Don't you love that? And so I never really do anything on my computer. Everything I do right here, basically. Um, and then you can get it to where exactly where you want. And if I needed to rehoop, if I wanted it a little bit bigger, I could. And then you'll just print, and then you'll just embroider the wording out as well. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to sit there and go through all that with you guys. But that's basically how I made it. And then you'll, um, I'll, Angela, I'll get to my sewing machine. So, okay, okay. Thank While you she's all. moving over to the sewing machine, this is how we do it. <laughs> it's like magic. I see a few of your more comments. So Francis wants to know what would be the best machine if she's just learning how to embroider. So first off, Francis, I'm a brother brand ambassador, so I'm a little biased. So I'm going to say brother. But also, brother has so many different options for you from lower end to really high end. So I would just go with the one that you can buy. The We always say whatever size hoop you can get. So when you're, if you're debating between two machines, if one only has a four by four and you can get up to the five by seven hoop, I would try to go as big of hoop as you can get for in your price range. Cause there's a gazillion, not literally a gazillion, but there's a lot of different options for you. Definitely. Oh, there we go. Hey, Laura. I think you're on mute again. There you so go. I, I don't have that. Like, I like Angela's studio because she has her cameras, like, and she just, like, swaps, swaps, swaps. <laughs> I was like, when am I going to get up to her level? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I'm still, like, maneuvering my stool with my computer. <laughs> That's the beauty um, of live during COVID. <laughs> I do anything to, like, just keep it, you know, like, right there. It's like, how do I keep this to stay right here? Um, but yeah, so you'll just take it out of the hoop. Obviously, you'd want to write your um, little wording right here. And then that's pretty much it. I like to cut. I won't cut the stabilizer right now. But if you go on the interior, you could just cut right around the stabilizer. I like to do about a quarter inch. So when you wash it, it, it it'll soften over time. 
Um, or you could do like some sort of tender touch um, uh, stabilizer or interfacing on the back as well. But yep. Oh, this that looks so cute. Hurt. Give it a good press. And then that looks great. Uh, yeah. So that's what I did. And now you got ten, now I got all these sweatshirts. I'm gonna start giving them out as gifts or something. <laughs> That's yeah. always the, the whenever we're doing samples for uh, teaching or anything like that, you end up with three or four of each one because you have to do step outs. And then what do you do with them? <laughs> I, I know. I started giving, honestly, I started giving them away because I was like, otherwise, I was just like, well, I need, I don't only want one. I don't need 20. And if, even if they don't really, I'll give it to my sisters, you know, and even if they don't really like it, it's like, well, it's better than just kind of getting rid of it, you know? I agree. I agree. Or I'll use the back for like a sample. So if I want to get a stitch out or something, you just use the back. So you have like all these different embroidery. <laughs> all these different options. So Don wants to know, how would you use the 5x12 hoop on the P8 for large designs? Well, Don, typically you'll choose a design that will fit into your hoop. Unless it's a design that's split up that you can move it. So Usually, as a beginner embroiderer, you choose a design. Like even when you're shopping on iBroider, it'll say what size hoop is the smallest hoop. Sometimes designs are only built for five by seven, or maybe a ten by fourteen, or whatever. You want to make sure that whatever design that you purchase or a design in your machine that you're using will fit in that hoop. Unless if there's some way you can split it, which sometimes you need software. That's a little bit more advanced. So just as far as the basics go, try to find one that will fit in your hoop. Yeah, that's a good point because um, I do that a lot. I'll have to piece them together because I want it to be a little bit more dramatic and larger than my hoop area will, will allow me to. So mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes I'll just add, do one design and then like I did with the love, I, this love was added in after because yeah. that design had a huge heart over it. And I, so I had to kind of, address things but you know you just gotta do what you gotta do if you can it's sometimes not as easy as it seems you know like it's like if i could just put it all right there it's it whatever your hoop area is is what you're going to have to work with these girls are hilarious they're giving you their size and then they're also you want my shirley says you want my address <laughs> yes i would love to do that Angela, what do you do? like give me your address um send me a usps click it you know those click it ship it and i will literally put this in a box and get it out to you I <laughs> oh that's so cute definitely cute kristen says cute your daughter would love that one with the letters too yeah you could write so much fun stuff that is so easy. So Laura, by the way, I was just looking, let me see if I can find it here. I was just glancing to see if I could find um, what your recent post was on the blog, because you're always doing things on there. Oh yeah, we just did on um, the hat, the little slouchy beanie hat. Oh yes, here, let me share this. Here we go, nope. There we go. <laughs> there were so many cute things on there this month. Here yes. you go. Oh my gosh, this hat is so cute. Aren't those fun? We could use those today. <laughs> I know. I could have used it all weekend. <laughs> all of our friends in the New York area, they're going to get slammed too with that snow. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, you put... Has it this... started out there in New York? I think that's what the news said. I don't know. Well, who knows? But it looked like they had an awful lot. <laughs> yeah. Stay safe, guys. So is this the pattern that you use? This is really. Yeah, I am like, you know, cool. me, I need to simplify my life <laughs> in every aspect. <laughs> so that pattern is so easy. It's literally just four peaks and you just sew them together. Um, you'll have to sew on the fold and stuff like that. So that's the fold. And then, yeah, it's just like some little little mountain peaks, basically. Oh, my gosh. Is this cute? Yeah. It, it, they're, beanies are not as hard as they look. And then you have an opening so you can turn yeah. it right side out. Yep. It's kind of funny when you have it at first because it's just like this big, long thing. But you flip it inside it, and then it will form the beanie. Great photos to do this. Thank you. I know you got to be very thorough with the photos. <clears throat> oh my gosh, is that simple? Yeah. 
and then add some little embroidery. <laughs> oh, the label. That is great. Oh my gosh. You two are so cute. <laughs> Thanks. You did he, did, he just had a birthday, didn't he? Yeah. He just turned five. Oh my gosh. He's Growing up so fast. I know. He's not a baby. He's my youngest. It's so sad. I was like, he's, oh, he's not sorry. It's okay. I said, I feel like so sad. He's not a baby. He's not little anymore. I mean, he's five. He's still little, but he'll start school, like public school next year. Oh my gosh. It's amazing how time flies. So there's one more thing in case you guys missed this video uh, that's on the brother. I can't show it here because we're live on the Facebook page. But if you go to the brother Facebook page, that wrap that you did for your hair. Oh, yeah. In that super fast video. I, I think I watched it five times because I was like, how did you get the twist? It turned out great on your head. Let me get those. <laughs> Well, I shouldn't say literally great on your head, <laughs> but it's going to look great on your head. So if you guys miss this, when we're not live now, uh, in a few minutes, you can go back to the Brother Sews page and the video was on there. It's probably on Laura's Instagram too, if I'm guessing. Yeah, so I, our, here's, the, here's one of them I was doing. And yeah, it's just a tube, a fabric, right? You just yeah. fold it together. And then there's a seam in the back, so you'll see that seam. Um, so you fold it right side together. And then you take one side, oh, it's kind of hard doing it right here, but you'll take one side and you fold it in. And then you take the other side and you fold it this way. And then you just stitch like right along there. And yeah, when you hear I'm holding it. And when you flip out, if, if I was, I sewed it, it's like a knot. See that? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And hey, your camera is. It's hey, your camera's still on your table. Will you bring that over to your table and do that one more time? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, um, meet me over there in like one minute. <laughs> okay, see you in a sec. I'm, I'm telling you, this is the coolest thing ever. So if, if she shows it on the table, and I'm telling you, you're going to go back and watch this video over and over because it's such a great thing. Nancy, where's the pattern? The patterns, all these patterns are on blog.brothersos.com. You can see the website right below there. All right. So let's see. All right. Let bring her up here. There you are. Okay. All right. You see everything good? Yep. We can see great. You'll sew a tube of fabric. Um, basically, you want it stretchy. This, I know someone asked the measurements. It's all on there, but this is about 20. I, I don't, this isn't probably exact, so make sure you go to those. This is about 21 by, oh, let me do the math because it's folded. About 10. But make sure it's something like that. See, and then you just sew right sides together. You know, it's a tube, right? You just flip it right side up. And then you'll put the seam right down the center. And then what I do is I just flip it over and then flip it like this. So you're forming the head end. And then you have these little like sections right here at the top and the bottom. And then all you do is fold that down like that and then fold this one back like this, okay? And then you can pin that. And then when you sew, I feel like a little, just a little slight curve like this, you know, like, and then pretend I sewed it. And when you flip it out, it's like this little knot. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Now, if I sewed it, it would be nice because you could just pull it, you know, I don't, the, the pin's still there, but yeah, it's literally the cutest little headband ever. I love that. Everybody's saying they love it. They love it. <laughs> it's so warm. And you just, let me get the other ones. One sec. I have some other ones I did. Here, I'll show you at some. And then you'll want to trim it down. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Kelly says, darn it, she's been listening and now she has to watch. <laughs> oh, look at that. I like that one. Yeah, I always thought to do this, but I was like, it's kind of repetitive, but people just love these. And then here's the even thinner one if you want it a little bit thinner, like width-wise. But speaking of snowstorms, get to sewing. <laughs> oh, I love those. I wonder, Jennifer, I don't know if you're on here, Jennifer Olson, but she gave me like three or four of these. They look almost exactly the same. They were out of crushed velvet. And they're so cute. These are out of knit. 
a whole different idea. I love that. And you can do any uh, anything stretchy. But yeah, it's really just a tube of fabric. So you just take the fabric. So pretend that I was, and, and it's all on that brother um, Instagram video. But yeah, it's just you fold it and then you sew it right sides together. You could serge or sew like this and then you'll flip it up, you know. And that's it. And then you just do what I showed you earlier. That's awesome. All right, I'm coming back. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, Thank you for doing time. that again. It's you. I can sit and watch it over and over and over again. Everybody say the same thing. I love the headband. It, it'd be a great gift. It's a great kids project. It's a great adult project. Yeah. <laughs> and if I got to go shovel, which isn't happening today, but that headband would be fantastic. And this is so soft. Like, you know, just a really nice soft knit. And it's just, it's cozy. I'll wear them. And I'll put it, I'll wear it as a headband, but then if it's cold, I just put it right over my ears too. That's a great I idea. Make those. It just, <laughs> if you go to um, Brother's Instagram, they have the video and it's like right there. Okay, so let me see if I can bring that up. They also have it on the Brother Facebook page too. So when we're not live here, um, you can go back and watch it there too. But let me just see if I can. I'll bring up the page just so you guys. Angela needs her tea, though. <laughs> I, I forgot my tea. I was rushed this morning. I almost didn't make the live show. We got stuck in traffic because of the bad weather. Uh, How do you I like that? When I'm, when I'm drinking it, I'm like, oh, I'm not gloating, but. <laughs> it, well, now the big question is, is your cup as big as mine? Because I like my cups. Everybody always laughs, but yours looks pretty big there. Mine's big. <laughs> I keep putting on the floor because I don't have anything right here, but yeah, it's pretty big. Okay, so I'm going to put Brother's Instagram in the comments for you guys. Here you go. So it's basically Instagram.com forward slash Brothers, and I have it right here. Let's see if I can. You should have just done the headband. <laughs> <laughs> this is way too much fun. Oops, wait. Let me bring you back in, Laura. I don't, where did you go? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are some really cute things on here this this time. Um, well, they always have a great Instagram page. But here it is. If you go to their Instagram, go down like just two. Here's the video. Yeah, I wonder if you can watch. Oh, yeah, you can. Yep, 12 by 22. And you can watch it over and over and over. Oh, this answers the question. Somebody said, can you use the serger? Yep. Yeah, I surged mine. And then I showed you this step. The little fold. That's like the tricky fold. Boom. I love that part. And then stitch it. And voila. <laughs> So don't forget, you guys, when you start making your headband, be sure that you use hashtag Brother Sews and tag Laura on there, too, because her Instagram is right above me. Yeah, make sure to tag us, because I love seeing when people are making the things that we're sharing. I do, too. So this was so much fun, Laura. It's so great to see you. So uh -huh. guess what I'm going to make tomorrow on the live show? Because we have a live show tomorrow and then Thursday, of course, but... It That's cute. A zippered lip for that one. And it was this fun. No, I actually just full disclosure. I did not make this one. I, it came in one of the makeup. I don't know. You buy makeup and you get not that yeah. we're just talking about that. But at some point when I bought makeup, <laughs> it came with a gift. And I thought, oh, my gosh, I could do this on my design center so easily and then put the little zipper in here. This would be a great way to put my little Valentine's card to win or oh, chocolate, yeah. something fun like that. So, you, could do your, um, you know how everybody has the earbuds now, like a little earbud case or whatever. That's adorable. That's a great idea. Yeah, and do that's a, a great ring, idea. Like, do a little D ring hook on the side, and you can just hang it maybe a little smaller, but you could just hang it on your keychain or whatever. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. In fact, I keep losing my earbuds, so this is going to be perfect. Yeah. Forget it. I'm going to make myself a Valentine's gift. 
you need if you keep losing them, you got to get a little yeah, get a little case or something, and then you won't. Because I always lost mine too. That is a great idea. Oh, hey, Freddie, I'm glad that you're enjoying first time here and we're happy to have you. So so the live show this week, by the way, we've got live shows this afternoon. Cindy Hogan is doing um, software shut in tomorrow behind the scenes on my page. And then Thursday at noon. Who's on? Jerry Granada is on on Thursday at noon. And I think I missed one yesterday. Not yesterday. Tomorrow. Wednesday is um, Emily. So and don't forget to go to Laura's Instagram, which is right above here. Your Instagram is so much fun to watch. Oh, thank you. I do. I like Instagram. Like that's my thing. I'm I'm still getting to Facebook, but like Instagram, I, I like I enjoy posting on there for sure. I love yours. And your pictures are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for the inspiration today. It's so nice to see you again. And thank Brothers you. and Crafting family, thanks oh. for joining us. This Have is a lot a of fun. Good day. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a happy Valentine's Day if I don't see you, but I will see you tomorrow if you show up. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you.